Now at nine, another Bay Area French Bulldog owner left heartbroken tonight after her pet was snatched from her car in Oakland. Thank you for joining us here for Crown 4 News at 9. I'm Noelle Bello. And I'm Dan Thorne. This happened at Jack London Square Friday night, and it was all caught on video. Crown 4's Amanda Harry talked with the dog's owner. Amanda, how's she doing tonight? Understandably, the owner says she's devastated and can't sleep at night. She says her Frenchie, Boba, is very shy and can be easily scared, and he may not be eating out of fear. Gut-wrenching video shows the moment someone reaches into a Tesla and rips a Frenchie out of the window. It's like heartbreaking. It's really torturing for me to see the moment they took away Boba. Boba's owner, Toya Zen, says she can hardly watch the video of the dog napping as Boba struggles to get away. But she was trying so hard to fight back to get back into my car. She says she takes two-year-old Boba everywhere. The friend she usually comes with her into her office, but this time she was only running in to grab some documents and didn't want to disturb the dog. She was sleeping in my car, actually, so, like, sorry, like, uh, yeah, so last time I saw her, she was sleeping. She was parked at the corner of Franklin and 3rd Streets around 8.15 Friday night. She ran inside her office for what she estimates was just two minutes. What appears to be a black Lexus sedan drives by her car, then backs up. Someone hops out of the passenger door, takes her purse and wallet, and goes back for Boba, then speeds away. She was actually walking across the street at that moment. And that car just like started so fast and then they just drove off. It almost hit me. I didn't realize that was those people who stole my dog. Thieves are known to target Frenchies because they can sell for thousands of dollars. Zen says there will be a reward for Boba's safe return. Well, like last Friday, it would be the last day for me to see my dog. So I hope like one, like, I hope she can come back to me really. I'm really worried about her. She called Oakland police immediately after the break-in. They wouldn't send someone or file a report over the phone. She filed one online Saturday. She tried to go to the police station to give them the video, but she was told the report needs to get approved first. In the newsroom, Amanda Harry, Cron 4 News.